Till now, we studied different gas laws given by different scientists. No doubt, these gas laws are wonderful results of different experiments and their observations. But we want one theory to explain all these gas laws. All these gas laws are explained with the help of one theory which can account for the behavior of gases under the four different conditions of P, V, T and N. So in, in explaining the behavior of gases, many scientists work in the field of the properties of gases or the behavior of gases or the measurable properties of the gases and give theory. But among the different scientists, prominent scientists which work in this field are uh, Clausius, Maxwell and Boltzmann. So they, these three scientists gave their opinions and in the form of what postulates and that theory is known as what? That theory is known as kinetic molecular theory of gases. Kinetic means to move. So kinetic word you heard in the physics, kinetic energy. So kinetic means it is for the a word is used for the movement. Okay. So kinetic molecular at the molecular level, at the microscopic level, what happens to the behavior of gases? To explain that one, he they have used these two words, kinetic molecular theory. For what? For gases. So this is also known as the microscopic model of a gas. So today we discuss uh, kinetic molecular theory of gases and its postulates. Okay, right. So that uh, we will understand all the gas laws in a better way. Right. Already we studied, but to support these uh, gas laws, we want a theory, we want a model known as what? Kinetic molecular theory of gases. So, my dear friends and my dear students, I welcome you all for today's session on kinetic molecular theory of gases. First, we learn about the postulates, then we go ahead. Okay, right. The postulate number one is gases are composed of large number of similar particles that are so small and so apart that the volume of molecules is negligible compared to the volume of the container. Means gases are made up of small particles. Particles may be an atom, particles may be a molecule. Okay. And they are so small, they are regarded as a point mass. Highly negligible mass. Okay. Therefore, because of the because we treat them as a point mass, they if you if you bring all the molecules to one side, their mass is so small, okay, their volume is so small compared to the volume of the container. That means volume of the molecules is negligible in compared to the volume of the water container. And this postulate supports what supports compressibility factor of gases okay right second postulate is what there is no force of attraction between the particles of a gas at normal temperature pressure so there is no force of what attraction this point supports what this point supports gases expand and occupy all the space available to them because there is no force of attraction they keep moving they keep occupying the space available to them in the container and the third postulate is what? Particles of a gas are always in constant, continuous, rapid and random motion. And this point uh, from the kinetic molecular theory gases supports gases do not have definite shape and volume. Because they keep moving here and there, so they don't have a definite shape and definite volume. And the fourth postulate is what? Particles of a gas move in all possible directions and collide with each other and with the walls of the container. That means because of the random motion, they keep moving. So they collide with each other or if they don't collide with each other, at least at last they collide with the wall of the container in which they are there. Okay. When they collide, what happens? Momentum changes. When momentum changes, then something about uh, work force on a particular uh, per unit area is done. That is what? That is related to what? Pressure. So, P equal to what? F by A. That is taken here. So, gases exert pressure is because of what? Because of this point. 
from the kinetic molecular theory of gases and the fifth postulate is what collisions of gas particles are perfectly elastic this means that this means there may be a transfer or exchange of energy between the colliding particles but the total energy of particles of gas before and after the collisions remains the same okay that is the meaning of what collisions of gas particles are perfectly elastic let them exchange let them transfer but total energy before the collision total energy after the collision remains the same and this point supports what this point supports particles of gas will not settle down in the container so let them collide they keep moving they will not come even after the collision if they lose energy by chance you know let's take that if they lost their kinetic energy then they will settle down if they settle down they will not settle down so this postulate supports the point that uh, behavior of gas that particles of a gas will not settle uh, will not settle down in the container and the sixth and the final postulate of the this theory is what the particles of a gas uh, possesses different speed and different kinetic energy at any particular time and temperature but the average kinetic energy of molecules of a gas is directly proportional to the absolute temperature that is kelvin that means what let them have different speed let them have different kinetic energy but total kinetic or average kinetic energy if you have taken one mole or two moles of a gas then accordingly the ever you have to calculate the average kinetic energy of all those two moles of uh, particles of gas so average kinetic energy of all the particles of the gas okay what it says is directly proportional to absolute temperature means what increase in temperature increase the speed increase the kinetic energy thereby they move fast thereby they collide thereby they give out the pressure so all these are related to what related to the each other okay so this supports this supports what this postulate supports all the gas laws given by the different scientists okay right so now we'll see one by one kinetic molecular theory of gases all these points already i explained what is the conclusion conclusion from the kinetic molecular theory of gases is what gas about the gas no mass no volume no gravitational effect large empty spaces perfectly elastic collision and temperature is directly proportional to the kinetic energy this is the concluding part of kinetic molecular theory of gases okay right now no doubt we have studied the wonderful kinetic molecular theory of gases okay but let us see how far it is uh, applicable how far it is true in explaining the all the gas laws okay before we go into the uh, what uh, let us put the this theory to the test whether it is applicable or not we will understand what difference is there between ideal gas and the real gas okay what is ideal gas ideal gas is the gas which obeys gas equation pv equal to nrt at all temperatures at all pressures at all times okay but this ideal gas is not there it is hypothetical because there is no gas which is ideal all gases what we are uh, what we come across in our day to day life all gases what we use are non ideal or they are called what real that's why the word real is there real gases okay so real gases they don't obey uh, what this gas equation pv equal to nrt they will obey at a particular condition but not at all conditions but ideal gas which obeys pv equal to nrt at all temperatures or at all conditions okay which is hypothetical before the before this session i told that to go to ideality is very difficult to go to the perfection is very difficult to go to 100% is very difficult ideal situation ideal teacher ideal uh, a student ideal conditions so, so all these ideality is hypothetical okay we may go up to 99.99% okay but going to 100% i am not saying impossible it is very difficult therefore ideal gas is not there which is hypothetical which will not follow all the gas laws and the pv equal to nrt so only whatever gas we came across for example helium argon carbon dioxide methane hydrogen all the gases are called as real gases and they don't obey this pv equal to nrt gas equation at all temperature only at a particular temperature at a particular pressure they obey okay so all gases are real gases okay right point number 1 a gas 
which obeys the ideal gas equation P V equal to nRT under all conditions of temperature and pressure is called an ideal gas. This I told. However, there is no gas which obeys the ideal gas equation under all conditions of temperature and pressure. The concept of ideal gas is only theoretical and hypothetical. The gases are found to obey the gas laws fairly well if pressure is low or the temperature is high. That means real gases obey ideality only where in low pressure or the high temperature. So, low pressure, high temperature only. Such gases are therefore called real gases or non ideal gases. All gases are real gases, concluding part. Okay, right. Now, let us uh, understand uh, behavior of ideal gas and real gas under PVT and N. So, this is a graph between uh, what? Pressure and the volume. This graph is the, what is the what is the uh, equation or what is the gas law says? We know that a pressure is inversely proportional to the volume. Okay. So, keeping this point in the mind, so if you plot a graph between pressure and the volume, okay, this is the nature of the graph. This is the shape of the graph, red line. Okay. So, this red graph, red line is called what? Graph for the ideal gas. But when you plot graph for the real gas from the experimental observations, this is the shape. Okay. See, it is not coinciding here. So, a lot of gap is there here, okay. So, if you come down somewhere, it will coincide, okay. Now, we will discuss this point afterwards. Now, let us come to this point, okay. Real gases is not obeying the gas equation PV equal to NRT agreed, okay. That's why the gap is there, right. Now, at this pressure, at this high pressure, okay. What is the expected volume? This is the expected volume. How much volume is there? Volume is more than the ideality. Okay. So, that means volume real is becoming more than the volume ideal. See, this is the volume ideal. Okay. This is the volume real, which is more. So, volume real is more than the volume ideal. Okay. So, this is called deviation from the normal path or the deviation from the ideality. Okay. Now, this is what at a high pressure. Now, you see the same volume ideal and the volume real at a low pressure. This is the low pressure, okay. At a low pressure, okay, what is the volume? Uh, volume real, volume real is small than the volume ideal. That means at high pressure, volume real is more than the volume ideal, whereas at the low pressure, volume real is less than the volume ideal. That means at high pressure, they show more volume, means positive deviation. Which volume? Volume which is there in the PV equal to NRT equation. When the volume is more, PV becomes more. When the PV becomes more, PV is more than the NRT. Okay. So, when the PV is more than NRT, that is not ideal. Okay. So, at high pressure, okay. So, V real is more than the V ideal. That is called as the positive deviation. Whereas, at the low pressure, V real is less than the V ideal that is called a negative deviation where PV is less than the NRT. Okay. Right. Now, when the when at a high pressure, uh, volume real is more than the volume ideal is what means. Uh, why the volume is more? Because there may be a force of repulsion. It is it want to expand. So, it is going for the more volume. Therefore, volume real is more. So, when the volume real is more, it means that there is a force of repulsion that means they want to expand that time can we compress such gases sir, who are already expanding no it is difficult to compress so when the volume real is more than the volume ideal that means difficult to compress whereas at a low pressure volume volume real is less than the volume ideal means what there is a force of attraction they want to come close they want to contract that means we can compress easily at low pressure. So, that means all these ideas we get from this graph. And this idea is known as what? This idea is known as a compressibility factor. Okay. So, till now what we studied about the volume real and the volume ideal and the compressibility factor. About this we study tomorrow or in next session more. Till then, have a nice time and keep it up.